<clears throat> hey, my name is Randall Constant. And I'm Amazon Live at 10.55 Central Time. Yeah, it was supposed to be a lot earlier today, <clears throat> but I was out of town. I was out of town. I thought I was never going to get back. I thought I was never going to get back in time, but at least I know that if I did not get back, my streak was still intact because I was on this morning at 1 a.m. Yeah, I was on this morning at 1 a.m., so... I already had my 441 days in a row. Yeah, 441 days in a row. That's where I'm at, 441 days in a row. That's a lot of days. That's a lot of days. All right, let me see if I can Let me see if I can go ahead and put, I'm just going to go ahead and put something in YouTube. Hey, by the way, YouTube, I got, I got up to 70 subscribers now. 70, how about that? Not too bad. I'll take it. It's not that easy, not that easy to get subscribers on YouTube. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and put my favorite, favorite fruit is okay. let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. All right, looks like I got it. Looks like I got it. All right, good, good. All right, let me see if I can get this off the ground. Let me see if this off get off the ground. I'll put this over here. Oh, no, I can't block the person. No, I'll have to let it lay down. All right, my favorite fruit is what? What is it? What is it? It's National Mango Day today. Yeah, it's National Mango Day today. Let me make sure I got my stuff straight. Let me see. Hold on, hold on. Let me check. Let me check my. Let me check my, my LinkedIn stuff. Let me see. Hey, by the way, the Astros are beating the Mariners five to nothing. I'll take it. I'll take it. Five to nothing. They got to win. To, you know, the Astros got to win today to stay two and a half games behind the Yankees for the best record in the American League. How in the world did the Astros get in the American League? I don't know. How in the world? How in the world? Spent my whole life watching them in the National League, and then they end up in the American League. What's that all about? But still haven't figured it out. All right, let's see. Where's Where's LinkedIn? Okay, here we go. Let me check LinkedIn. I did a poll this morning. Let me see how it came out. I haven't been watching it, so I don't know. All right, yeah. Okay, here it is. Uh, it was National Vanilla Ice Cream Day, and I asked the question. What's your favorite topping to go on ice cream? What's your favorite topping? And the way it came out was hot fudge was number one at 44%. Caramel was number two at 31. Strawberries made 13, and chopped nuts got 13 too. All right, so hot fudge rules with caramel right behind. Yeah. All right, on the National Junk Food Day, which just finished up, I asked the question, what's your favorite? Junk food category, kind of. Is it cookies, candy bars, chips, or ice cream? When it was all said and done, ice cream won that ca <laughs> run, won that deal. 40% of the people said ice cream. 26% said chips. 22% said cookies. 12% said candy bars. Let's see if there was another one. Yeah, one more. National Hot Dog Day was just the other day, and I asked the question, what's your favorite hot dog? When it was all said and done, Nathan's Hot Dogs and Hebrew National tied at 34%. Yeah, 34% said Nathan's. 34% said Hebrew National. 18% said Oscar Mayer. 15% said Ballpark. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Okay. All right, I got some more stuff, but I'll stop right there. Let me come back over to the... To my carousel. Let me let me check. Maybe I don't know if you, I don't even know if anybody's here. I guess there is. I guess there is some. I get. I guess a few people showed up. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. I guess so. Hey, all right. Gavin showed up. Gavin. Gavin gets the jump. And I tell you, Gavin gets the jump. He's always. He he's has a strong, strong possibility of being first. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Dred. You got Richard. You got, uh, Aliyah. You got an awesome mom. You got Joseph and you got you got Diane M. You got Diane M. Okay, well that's a good that's a good start. Considering I only been here what five minutes, I've only been here five minutes. All right, it's the same old stuff. You know me, it's the same old stuff. Unfortunately, 
I got to talk about the stuff that I have. I can't go. <laughs> I can't go buy a whole bunch of stuff if I'm not doing. You know, a lot of the, a lot of the deals are inexpensive stuff, but I kind of talk about stuff that's kind of expensive. So I can't go buy. An, I can't go buy another barbecue pit every time I want to talk about one. It's kind of hard. So I got to talk about the stuff that I, that I have. That I have. All right, I'm. I'm gonna start back with my HP Envy 34. Yep, I'm. I had it downstairs. I was working with Calvin last night with it. Calvin put in some time yesterday. He put in almost four hours, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's what it was. He put in four hours. Hey, Janine, Jennifer Lude. Yeah, the uh, yeah. So I had it set up downstairs. Man, this computer is heavy. I mean, it's real heavy. And to try to put it back up here without knocking lights over and things off my oh, it's just yeah, it's tough. It's a challenge. It's a big challenge. Yeah, I mean, before bed. Hey, but Trigger, don't worry. Don't worry about it, Trigger. I already had my streak already. It, it was sealed already because I was on at 1 a.m. this morning with Calvin. At 1 a.m. So my streak was alive regardless if I didn't make it back in time. Well, anyway, it's 12 o'clock Eastern time. And my mother-in-law makes 99 in an, in an hour. Yeah, she makes it in an hour. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to... We're going out to eat with her tomorrow. We're going to go get some shrimp, some gumbo, and some gelato. Yeah, we're going to go get that tomorrow. Yeah, it's 12 o'clock. She's officially kind of. Yeah, you could say she's 99. You know why? Because she was not born in the central time zone. She was born in, the, I don't know if it's the eastern or the one before that, but her birthday done passed. Yeah, it done passed. So she's 99 years old. She made it. She made it. She made it. She made it. Well, anyway, Calvin's downstairs with her with her so he's hanging out with her and all the people that are coming to visit a lot of people coming to visit her yeah if you're 99 years old and you got a whole bunch of people coming to visit you i guess you did okay i guess you did okay in life because a lot of people coming to visit her um uh, some you know sometimes some people don't have nobody to come visit them but she's uh she's got a she's got a lot she's got a lot coming to visit her so it's gonna be an inter interesting day tomorrow that's for sure all right. Didn't show you live, Randall. Didn't show you live. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure how the how the thing's going now. Yeah, just just to increase the chance of you knowing that I'm live. Go ahead and subscribe to YouTube. If you subscribe to my channel on YouTube, you automatically you find out right away. I have a feeling that's how Gavin gets the jump on everybody i think gavin's gavin must be following me on youtube because he's here almost as soon as i as soon as i uh sign you know jump in he's already here yeah uh, i got new items oh i got new items i don't know I, oh yeah i got some new items in the back i guess you could say i got some ugly uh some ugly sweet potatoes in the back i got some reese's uh peanut butter covered pretzels yeah Reese's peanut butter covered pretzels I got that yeah 99 years I don't know if I'm I don't think I'll make it to 90 I don't think I'll make it to 99 that's a long time from now yeah by the way James we could, we're doing okay we're down to 79 79 degree we're at 79 I think 79 to 78 hey Siri how hot is it outside okay I found this on the web for how hot is it outside. Check it out. Hey, Siri. How hot is it in Gulfport, Mississippi? Okay. I found this on the web for how hot is it in Gulfport, Mississippi. Check it out. Oh, man. It wants to be difficult. 77 degrees. How about that? 77. That's nice. That's nice. In fact, it's not, it's not that humid. But I spent my time cutting grass today. I was sweating. I was sweating today. It was, it was not nice. I was. It was amazing. It was amazing because it was, because it was actually raining. But it was so humid. It was so humid. It was raining. It was raining. But you, you were. It was so hot. It was so hot. So it took. A, I guess it was cooling things off. It was like a sauna. So I, anyway, I got my black and decker heads. Trevor busy. I got my, I got my works. 
WG163 busy. Yeah. So I, I, you know, I got all that stuff busy today. I was cutting stuff, cutting stuff, trimming stuff, trying to do as much as I could, you know, at least, at least for now. All right, let's see, let's see. I'm jumping back. All right, HP, let's go, let's go. Let me see, let me see. Regulation recycled meat, meat paste face. Wow, I'm still waiting for pizza face. Pizza face ought to be showing up soon. All right, let's see. I'm going to jump on over, too. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm going on over, too. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to. I got to get to the right. Yeah, I got to get in the right room. Yeah, that's for sure. If I'm in the wrong room, I don't see the right stuff. All right, there we go. You can tell I just jumped into another room. All right, here we go. Here's my here's my HP Envy 34. It's pretty cool. Hey, I'm Randall Constant. I'm getting ready to go live on StreamYard. Hey, check check this out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead to the order section. Watch out. How about that? Wow, that's an easy way to see all the items in it. And then here's my keyboard, the rest of the setup. Pretty simple. Yeah, how about that? 128 gigabytes of RAM. The Intel i9 processor got a pretty good webcam i think the webcam looks pretty good i think it works really well it's got a 34 inch screen that's pretty big i got 35 in the audience 34 34 in the audience 34 inch screen so that's pretty man, that's coincidental i guess all right i'm gonna jump on over to the i want to jump on over to the dell inspiron computer it's 27 inch yeah, I got a video on that too. Here we go. I don't know what's wrong with this guy's voice because his voice is really letting out, like going away. In March, I bought this Dell Inspiron 7790. I wanted to go ahead and kick up my live streaming game a little bit, and uh, it def, you know, it definitely helped out quite a bit. Um, yeah, his voice is going out. Let me let me change the channel there. Yeah. Anyway. I just ran into the brick wall so many times I just kind of put a pause on it. I just jumped to the next level. I figured I'm gonna get something that's gonna rock. And this one, this this uh, HP NV34, it's a gamer's computer. I never thought I was gonna have a gamer's computer, but that's what it is. It's a gamer's computer. All right, before you say anything, I might not be playing games today, but I used to have a game room. How about that? You know, Mrs. Pac-Man and Donkey Kong and all that kind of stuff way back in the day. Yeah. I had one. Yes, I did. So that was the big games. But when Game Boys came to be a thing, Game Boys, I couldn't see the thing. It was too small. So that was it for the games at that point. Yeah, hey, Bartholomew's here. Let's see. We got, what well, we got? Golden Kiwi from Vicky. We got Watermelon from Bartholomew. What else we had? And I saw cherries somewhere. Cherries. See the favorite fruit. Today's National Mango. National Mango Day, yeah. Yeah, Bernadine said cherry. Bye, I just saw the price of cherries. Cherries are expensive. Expensive, wow. Expensive, they're expensive. Yeah, I saw, I saw. I don't know, it was a two pound bag. It was like, I don't know, like $11 or something. And that's a, probably a good price. My favorite fruit is lemon. That's screaming for ice cream. Let's see. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? I think that's what we got. I think that's what we got. All right. I'm in. All right. Oh, and then James has strawberries. Hey, I asked a question the other day about your favorite daiquiri flavor. Strawberries won out by a large margin. Yeah, that's the way that came out. Hey, look. When you get old, you can't see. Yeah. Uh, well, if you like me, let's put it that way. If you like me, you can't see. So you need all the help that you can get. Yeah, he didn't do the he, Terry. He didn't do the eye exam yet, but he's all he's all excited because his his appointment got backed up. <laughs> his appointment got backed up a little bit. So anyway, we're backing up things, backing up things. It's hard to get appointments. I'm telling you, it's hard. It's really hard. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna jump back. Let me see. I think I got my. I think I got my thing over here with the, uh, wait, 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 where are we going? Where are we going? Yeah, here we go with the light. Yeah, my, my wife and I were taking our time to replace the light in our kitchen because we wanted something that was going to put out some light. We needed some light. I mean, major light. 
we didn't need we didn't need anything that was going to underperform. So we took a chance and we bought this from Amazon. Cost us sixty three dollars, and we're pretty happy with it because it worked out pretty good. Here you go. Watch it. Watch how bright that light is. Hey, my wife and I were looking to replace our light in the kitchen because we needed to see. You know how it gets when you get old, you can't see anymore. But this, I tell you what, this this particular light really did the job. Check it out. Watch the light that comes out. Wow. That's pretty good. All right, let's see. The thing that you can do is, and it shows you right here, you could either set it on 3K, 4K, or 5K, and I guarantee you we got it on 5K. And it only burns 28 watts, and it's 18 inches. This particular item worked out real well for us, and uh, we're definitely satisfied. Of course, it was bought from Amazon. Yeah, we're happy with it. We didn't know. We didn't know at first if it was going to work the way we thought it was, but it definitely did. So we could see what's going on. So if you're trying to chop some onions or celery or whatever, you don't have to worry about chopping your fingers. You know? You got. You can see. Hey, we got Rhonda Stone went with pineapple. I saw Stephen Wells went with with watermelon. Kmart Kelly went with strawberry. It looks like strawberry and watermelon doing pretty good. Uh my favorite fruit is a tomato. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all messed up. That's all messed up. Come on, we we were we grew up knowing that these are vegetables and these are fruit. Okay. And then everything's changing. Everything's all messed up. It's all changing. So I don't know what to say now on some of this stuff. Hey, it's just like when you used to address the envelope. When you used to put it in the mail, you were taught you put Boston, comma, Massachusetts. And then now you don't put the comma. You got to leave the comma off. But that's not what they taught me 50 years ago. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't teach me that 50 years ago. I still remember what they taught me. Put the comma between Boston and Massachusetts. But the computer don't read the comma, don't like the comma, so you got to leave the comma out. So you got to you got to do what's convenient for the computer to make sure you try to get your stuff. My favorite fruit is mango. Okay, somebody's somebody's celebrating the actual holiday. By the way, that photo in the in the in the thumbnail, that's a nice looking picture of a mango that's nice looking i i liked it now they had another there's another yeah there's another day another special day it's like national fudge day but it's a particular kind of fudge but i wasn't familiar with the name so i left it out so it's some kind of fudge day yeah so i went with the mango because the picture was so good looking yeah and i don't eat mango but the picture was good looking that's what hey that's what it's all about Hey, I'm jumping on over to the GE LED color changing light bulbs. Look at 1341. 1341. I bought them for, I think I bought them for 1650 or something like that. I think I did. I think I did. And they they actually, yeah, they actually are pretty cool. They're pretty cool. You can you you can work with the different intensities. You know, you can go with a hundred percent light. Yeah, let's go with the hundred percent. Yeah, I got the hundred percent. If you don't want to go hundred, you go 70. I go on 70. How about 40? You go 40, 40. How about 10? 10, 10. You got it down to 10. Look at this. Look at this. Even though there's a little tiny little bit of light coming in here. There's a little, there's a little bit of light coming in here. I can still see myself. It's still being picked up. It's not that bad of a photo. It's not, I mean, the video is not that bad. Okay. So let me go back to, let me go back to. 40 let me go back to full strength let's see let me go back full strength 100 percent. let's go 100 percent. let's see let me get it going let me get it going 100 percent. 100 percent. all right so there we go 100 percent. so i'm back in 100 percent. but the thing here is that this you know if you want to it's it's good to know that you can go red yeah you can go red wow that looks weird <laughs> what about here you can go green is that green and I don't know the other colors because I'm kind of on the colorblind side, so I ain't going to even say what it is. It's just different colors, okay? Yeah, look at that. I miss, this is number six. This is number seven. Number seven. It looks like all the packaging changes colors, too. That's the thing that's amazing. Something else. Yeah, look at a, mic look at a microwave. Retro red. Look what it looks like. In fact, you know what looked good was that Reese's peanut butter hat. It looked pretty good. It looked pretty good. I don't know where it's at now. It might be downstairs. But anyway, it looked good with the, you know, the fancy light. 
Let me go back to the regular light, though. Here we go. Wow, man, that's stuff bright. That's bright. That's bright. Maybe I should put these lights in my kitchen. They could light up the kitchen pretty good. All right, let's see. Why that 100% is the brightest bulbs I have ever seen. Yeah, they're they're kind of they're kind of on the bright side. I'm trying not to be too. I don't want to look like Casper, but sometimes I gotta back off the brightness. I gotta back it off a little bit. I think I don't know. I mean, I don't know what's best. It depends on what it what it looks like on other computers. But other computers, different computers, different phones, different whatever has it looks different. You know, so you never know. One thing I learned a long time ago. Whatever you whatever you see is not necessarily what everybody else sees. Yeah, so you might see something great, and other people may not see it great on their on their end. It's a possibility. Hey, I got this uh, Apple charger. I, I'm sorry, I couldn't believe this. I had two notes. I had two notes, and then when I started Amazon Live, they said I had to get an Apple. So I went to the store and got two apples. And I just walked in the store. I want these two apples. And I, I forgot what the price was, but it was a bunch of money. And then uh, I went, I, you know, gave him my credit card, paid for, paid for the two apples, went home, and I found out they don't have no chargers in the box. You got to be kidding. Them. My whole life I always had a charger in the box every time I bought a phone. I got a lot of phones in my, in my history. I'm old. I've been having a lot of phones. I go back to the... I didn't have the brick. I didn't have the brick phone that some people had, but I did have the one that was radio, like the radio phone. I had that installed. Yeah, back in the day when I sold live crawfish, when I was selling live crawfish by the sack, I had me a phone. It didn't work like a regular phone. It was like a like a walkie-talkie, a walkie-talkie with a phone number. But I had one way back. That was in 1980. It must have been 1988, 87, somewhere around there, somewhere right around that time. Yeah, that's a yeah. Things changing all the time. So anyway, uh, I was just with all the phones I ever had. I always had a charger until now. So I had to get me a charger. I had to get me a charger. I, of course, I ordered it on Amazon. Let me see if I can find. It. Let's see if I can find it. So anyway, this is a fast charger. This is not a slow charger. I use the I use my charger from. Four or five, you know, four years ago with my iPhone, and it didn't charge it too fast. But I tell you what, when I hooked it up with this one, man, it ch it charged it really fast. Let's see if I can find. It. Let's see if I can find it. I think I can find it. I think, 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 think. Right, right, right here. Here we go. Hey, back when I started on Amazon Live, I had to, I had to get an iPhone, so I ended up getting a couple iPhones. Got a couple iPhones, but the problem was is when I looked in the box, they didn't have no charger. You got to be kidding! They didn't have no chargers, so. I had to go ahead and buy buy one, so I went on Amazon and I got a couple of chargers. Okay, got a couple. All right, well that's the charger there. Yeah. So anyway, a year has gone by, and it's charging my phone pretty fast, pretty fast. I'm happy. I'm happy. It's working out for me. Anyway, that's what that's that's. What, look, it's costing you eleven dollars a piece. That's not bad for a charger for a, you know for an Apple. That's okay. Okay, I'm sure you could buy some. Less expensive ones, but you, but you got to remember, sometimes you get what you pay for, so you have to be on the careful side. Hey, I got the Vitamix 5200. This is at 389 right now, but it went all the way down to 299 on Prime Day. That kind of surprised me because I wasn't expecting it. I didn't expect it to go all the way to 299, but it did. Oh, and I didn't get a chance to make my. Well, I didn't make my. I'm not gonna make no green shake, but I got I got me some vanilla ice cream, some good vanilla ice cream. And I think I'm going to add all kinds of good stuff to it. Yeah, my Vitamix. Look, I don't have the Vitamix up on the Bebop Blue oven anymore. But I can, I have a video now, so I can show the video. But anyway, I got a few little things I can add to it. To the ice cream. I got the Butterfinger. I got the Butterfinger that you could add to it. And by the way, this is kind of, <laughs> it's kind of expensive. You got, to pay, you got to pay the price for some Butterfinger. Then you got the Heath. You got the Heath. You know they got two kinds. They got the one with, with the chocolate, and they got the one without the chocolate. So you got two different options there. So you could add that to your, your ice cream and your Vitamix. It's kind of overkill, but that's okay. That's what I like. Okay. All right. You got the Andes mints, and what I've been reading. I tell you what, I've been reading, man. Uh, that 
the mints, the chocolate mint ice cream is, it seems like it's getting stronger and stronger every year. It's very, very, very popular. So anyway, I can do that. I can, I can take my vanilla, plain old vanilla ice cream. That just happens to be pretty good. And then add all kinds of candy to it in my Vitamix. Just have some fun with it. Yeah, I know some people like to put, you know, fruits in their, in their ice cream. But no, 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 not, no, not me. I like, <laughs> I like to put almonds and pistachios and, and pecans and stuff like that. And I like to put candy. I like candy and nuts. I don't, I don't put the fruit, no. The only, the only fruit that I'd put in mine would be like manachino cherries because those things taste good. I like those. Uh, yeah, the Andes mints, it's just hard. <laughs> it's just hard. It's just hard. It's hard not to, yeah, eat the whole box. Jesus said he could knock out the whole box. Yeah, I, it don't take long. It don't take long. You get started. That's what you end up with. Anyway, here's the Vitamix. Where's the Vitamix? Let me find the Vitamix. I think I got it here somewhere. I think it's here. Somewhere. There it is. Here we go. Hey, I have the Vitamix 5200. Talk about a blender that's the real deal. This thing is, uh, by the way, this thing's really heavy. It's the, it's the Vitamix 5200. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put it down. Look, it's made in the USA, and, it, and it's made with at least 70% of American-made parts. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that deal with the with the deal is at least 70% of the parts that go in the Vitamix are from the USA. Well, that's a good that's a good deal for me. You got to remember that stuff comes from everywhere. You can have ice cream that's made in the USA, but that doesn't mean that all the ingredients inside the ice cream came from the USA. So that's kind of that's how it is. Things come from all over the world. All over the world. Yeah, so that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Cars are like that. Food's like that. Well, anyway, I do like the fact that, yeah, like I said, they did the best. I guess they did the best they, they could to try to get a lot of American parts in that Vitamix. That Vitamix is pretty well made. That thing will mix some stuff. That thing will mix some stuff. We got another mango. We got another mango fan. Another mango fan. Elvis is going with strawberries. Strawberry. It seems like strawberries and watermelon are one two yeah that's what it looks like so far watermelon and strawberries i'm just not that guy i'm sorry i'm not that guy what are you throwing all that all the different fruit in the vitamix that's not me that's not me no 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 no. it's not me wait what we got here my favorite fruit is strawberry we got strawberry oh let's see we got the strawberry going all right not uh oh, Elvis is not a mango fan. Uh oh, yeah. But anyway, by the way, Elvis, how you like that photo? The photo of the mango. Even though you're not a mango fan, the photo was pretty nice uh, on the thumbnail. It looked good. It looked good. Hey, I'm jumping on over to the Instapot Duo, Chris. We we had our opportunity because that thing went to eighty nine dollars. I could not believe it. I thought when I saw it at eighty nine dollars, I thought that was a misprint. I thought that was the six it six quart one i thought that's what it was and i found out that it was not but one thing it one thing that did happen the one thing that did happen is that it didn't last long and it was gone hey wendell i think wendell's something like me <laughs> wendell's something like me i don't eat fruit at all <laughs> you know i'm sorry the only time i eat fruit has got enough sugar in it if they got enough sugar in it, I'll, I'll eat it like i said manashino cherries i'll eat that and I'll eat the flavors. I'll eat stuff that's flavored with the with the fruits, but I won't. I'm not a fruit person. So you see, Wendell, Wendell, and I have something in common. We have something in common. We're not big. We're not. We, we're probably not making any smoothies. Let's put it that way. Ah, uh, the real Elvis. The real Elvis loves coconut. The real Elvis. The real Elvis. Yeah, he, he likes bananas too. I think bananas and peanut butter. Yeah. So yeah, but that's not me. Not me. All right, the Instant Pot Duo, Chris. It's going to come back down to earth one more time. Don't expect it to get to $89. Don't expect that to happen. That probably will never, ever happen again. <laughs> I was so shocked. I was so shocked. I couldn't believe it. But you can't, you can't expect the Instant Pot Duo, Chris, to come, down, come back down to somewhere in the neighborhood of one, 
of 119, it is a possibility, a very strong possibility, you get to 119 or 129 or 125. If it gets to 125 and you're ready to get that, maybe you have a gift to get, you know, today you don't need to buy it. You didn't buy it. You saw it on Prime Day, but you didn't buy it because you didn't know you needed one. Then later down the road, you find out, oh, yeah, this couple's getting married and I need a present. That's a great present. That's a real, that's a real good present. Let's see. Even Instapot Pro Chris 8 Court went down to 149 during Prime Day. Yeah, the uh the the, the the one thing that I the one thing that I noticed that you really gotta check out is sometimes when that item that you're looking at or you've been looking at, like in my case, I'm always looking at the eight core, but sometimes the best deal is on the six core. But you got to look for it. If you don't look for it, you don't see it. And the deal is sometimes that Instapot Duo Chris 8 quart is sky high, but the 6 quart's on deal. So you always have to be looking for that. Always have to be looking for that. But anyway, the Instapot Duo Chris, I did break it down finally. I did, I did, I did. Let's see, let's see. I did break it down. Let's see where I'm at, where I'm at, where I'm at. Uh, I got the Instapot Duo Chris right here. Finally, finally, finally taking it apart. Hey, I talk about the Instapot Duo, Chris, all the time because, you know, the 45 years that I spent in the food industry, a lot of a lot of that time I spent heating up food. So I, I kind of was a, a professional food heater upper. Now, I wish I had this. I wish I had this back 35 years ago because this thing is pretty cool. All right, this is the Instapot Duo, Chris. This is the 8-quart. Look, you got this is what it looks like from the front. Uh, let me see. There we go. You got you got all the different things that that you can program. But the deal is, I for me, I pretty much use it as a as an air fryer. That's what I do mostly with it. But let me show you what's in it. Now the thing gets confusing because everybody talks about the Instapot and they think every you know a lot of people think they're all the same, but they're not. They're not all the same. Now, the Instapot is the number one selling brand of multi cookers in the USA. All right, so anyway, you got your basic unit here, and you got a nice pot. This is heavy duty. Heavy, heavy, heavy duty. All right, so that goes in there. There you go. Got that in there. Now, what I mostly do is I air fry stuff. So here's the air fryer part, and it has a little rack in here, so you pull this rack out. All right, so let's say you want to put chick. Uh, let's say you want to put chicken chunks. I like barbecue, barbecue chicken chunks. That's what I like. Um, I found one that I like, and that's exactly what I. That's what I cook all the time. And then right here, you put this right on top, and you can put your rally fries or your checker fries right on the top. So you separate. You separate the, the barbecue chicken with the French fries, and you have it in here, and you just drop it in. You just drop it in. Okay. Now, as far as air frying is concerned, you need the air fryer top, and this is where the magic happens. This is the money right here. This is where it's, this is where it's all at. This is this is awesome, and this is heavy too, by the way. And one of the things that they do, they do give you, if I can find it. Let me see. I should be able to find it. It's right next to me. They do give you this, so you can put your hot. Now this is hot, okay? This is hot. This is hot. This gets hot. So you put it on this so that you don't burn your counter. You don't want to burn, you know, you don't want to burn your counter. And uh, as far as if you want to go ahead and air fry, let's see. Let me get this lined up. There we go. Get this lined up and you're in business. Yeah, by the way, I put that the air fryer lid on top. Uh, and I got it on there, but that's where the money, that's where the money is. That's that's the, that's where the magic happens. Yeah, you put those French fries in those chick, chicken chunks. Uh, I don't if it's breaded or if it's barbecued or whatever it is. You can separate the two in there, and, and you got you got some perfect fries. You don't have to worry about it if they're hot fries. You know how people go to a place and they they order it special so that they can get it hot. You know, they say, oh, I want it with no salt. Yeah, they want salt. They still want salt, but they order it with no salt so they can get the hot fries. Well, guess what? When you do it at your house, you're always going to get it coming out piping hot. I mean piping hot. You can't eat it coming out of that air fryer. That thing's hot. It's hot. So you can have your hot fries at, at, at a pretty reasonable price, too. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it. The large fries is, is pretty economical. 
Yeah, it sure is. Coming out of your air fryer. The Instapot Duo, Chris, does. And, then, and you can cook in all kinds of other ways uh, from there <laughs> with that particular device. I don't have much, I don't have much place to, to walk around in, in here, that's for sure. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to pull. Let's see if I can find the name. I got the names here. Look, I got the names. I got a whole bunch of names in here. I'm gonna pull the first one out of here, okay? And then this, this, the next one will come out of the out of the names that Richard's uh, putting together. Richard's got a big long list already. I saw him up to what 35 or something. Let me see. I don't. Let me see. Let me see. I think he's up to 35, 34. Yeah, and Veronica has to be added, so that's 35. Yeah, you put Veronica up there, uh, and, and you're at 35 anyway. Uh, yeah, the um, uh, yeah, trigger uh, the thing with me, I I use it for the instant, you know, the um, uh, the air frying part of it, but yeah, you can do you can do so many different things. You can make those, you can make that red beans, red beans and rice if you want. You can do that. In fact, there's a there's a uh, there's a video on making um, camellia red beans and rice on on uh, YouTube and it's been it it's been seen in different places over a million times. And see, I got in fact I don't have the camellia in my in my office today, but I do have some Blue Runner. Yeah, I got the Blue Runner beans. This is another real popular bean, uh, but it would it got its uh, um, popular. It, its popularity came from the can bean part of the business. Yeah, if you ever, if you, if you never had a chance to try some Blue Runner red beans in a can, uh, go ahead and check it out. I think you'll like it. Now, one th one thing I got to tell you though, uh, I bought I bought it one time where it said that it didn't have salt added or whatever. Oh man, I didn't realize how much salt makes makes beans taste a lot different. Yeah, uh, so so. Uh, if you ever see the healthy ones with no salt added or whatever on Blue Runner, uh, you might want the salt. You might want the salt. But at least it's healthy, but uh, I'm sorry. you got to put some salt in your beans. Got to have salt in your beans for sure. All right. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and pull a name. I'd like to know where I put it. Yeah, it's right behind me. All right. Let's see who comes out this time. I don't know. It's crazy what's... Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna see what I can find right out the get go. All right, I'm pulling the name right up right now. Let's see. Let's see what it is. All right, it ends up being Genie B. Genie B. Genie B. I don't know if Genie B's here. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. I'm checking. Let me see if Genie B's here. Genie B. Genie B. Is Genie B here? Genie B. Genie B. I see Janine. I see Jennifer, but I don't see Jeannie B. Jeannie B, Jeannie B, Jeannie B. I don't see Jeannie B. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll... Oh. Yeah, James is here. James is here. Yeah, I want to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and pull another one out. Jeannie B might not be here, maybe. But I'll go ahead and pull out another one out just, just to make sure we got a winner here. I try to see if we got a winner coming out. This is coming out of the out of the, the the Skittles red, white, and blue container. Let's see what I got here. I got Jose Hernandez. I have a feeling Jose's not here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull another one. I'm gonna pull another one. All right, now I got now I got Alan. Now I got Alan. I don't know if Alan's here, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the sixty the sixty second clock. I'm looking for three. I'm looking for Jeannie B, Jose Hernandez, and Alan. Yeah, the one and only Alan. Alan don't even need a last name because we know what Alan. <laughs> we know what Alan it is. Hey Siri, sixty seconds. One minute, counting down. Yeah, Alan. Yeah, you only have to say Alan. That's all, and you pretty much know who it is. Pretty much know. Pretty much know. All right, let's see. Let's see. I'm going. I'm gonna. I'm going to check back on this uh, poll here. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. While I'm waiting. 
the 60 seconds. Let's see if it's still the same. All right, Hot Fudge is still in first place, 44%. Caramel's second place, 31% on stuff that you add to your ice cream. Yeah, let's see. I'm going out to – I'm doing the um, – on National Frozen Daiquiri Day, I asked the question, what's your favorite daiquiri? And strawberry got 61% of the vote. Mango got 8%. Mango got 8 I went ahead and put up strawberry, pineapple, mango, and banana. Mango got eight on national. Well, you could say it's national mango day today. All right. I think that 60 seconds is coming to an end. Let me see. I'm coming back to the 60 second clock. There it is. Man, I was perfect. I did that. I did that perfectly. All right. Let's see if we find anybody. Did we find Alan? No. Did we find Jeannie B? No. Did we find Jose Hernandez? No. 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 We didn't find any of the three. So. All right, it's gonna be you're gonna have to try again. If you don't succeed the first time, you gotta try, try again. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta try a bunch of times to find. Oh, let me mix this up a little more. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. All right, gotta mix this up. It's still picking some names from oh, you know last week or so. But just because somebody came on here once doesn't mean that they're here today, especially at this time of night. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be one of the main the main ones. Let's see. It's got to be one of the ones that show up all the time. Let's see who it is. I'm, pick, I'm picking Ed S. Ed S. Uh, did we have Ed S? I don't know if Ed S was in the... Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Let me look for Ed S. I don't think so. I don't think so. Let me see. Looking at the names, looking at the names. Let's see. Did we have Ed? I don't know. I don't think we did. We had Dread, but we didn't have Ed. We got Dread, but we don't have Ed. No, we don't have Ed. All right, I'll pick another one. Ed could still pop up, but for, for the, to make sure we got something. I got to get something soon here. I got Awesome Mom. Awesome Mom comes out of the hat. Awesome Mom is, is the the fifth name I've come out with. So we got Ed and we got Awesome Mom. Ed and Awesome Mom. Let's see. I think I think Awesome Mom was here. I think, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yep, Awesome Mom was here. Let's see. Looking for Awesome Mom and looking for Ed. Looking for Ed and Awesome Mom. Awesome Mom's here. Looking for, still, okay, Awesome Mom's here, but we're looking for Ed. Looking for Ed. Look, looking for Ed. Let's see. Yeah, looking for Ed. I know if Dread could take the DR, if it's not Dr. Ed. <laughs> if she took the DR away, uh, she would be Ed. But I don't think so. I don't, I don't think she wants to do that. Um, looking for Ed. I don't think Ed's going to be here. Let me see. All right, I'm going to give Ed. Did I give Ed 60 seconds? I don't know. Hey, Siri, 60 seconds. One minute, starting now. All right, we got an awesome mom. Awesome mom, awesome mom, awesome mom. Uh, oh, by the way, awesome mom. Calvin was uh, wearing his he was wearing his Alabama shirt today. He went to New Orleans in his Alabama shirt. Yeah, causing problems, you know. <laughs> Cause. <laughs> yeah, he likes his he he likes to show off his Alabama, and that's what he did today. He did that. I think yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, yesterday he didn't have the he didn't have the shirt on yesterday, but he had the the hat on hat on he had the hat he had the hat no he's happy about that he that, that made his day that made his day yeah yeah because i always give him i always give him uh, a hard time about big al you know big al the elephant always always test to make sure that he knows that the mascot's name is big al because i always say what's that elephant's name i forgot his name whatever and he said that's big al yeah that's big al so he knows big al he knows Big Al. Yeah. The um, Okay. I got to try. <laughs> okay, I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. Okay. I don't know who. <laughs> who, uh, who, who sent the NCIS hat? That's what I didn't under, That That's what I don't know. Is Awesome Mom, you sent it? 
I don't know. It came on the same day. That's when I was confused. I was confused. I was confused. I have no idea. Awesome mom. Okay, so uh, <laughs> uh, so I have a feeling. I'm, okay, all right. Now, I was confused. I was real confused because awesome mom said something like it was a surprise. Well, that was a surprise when I got when I got the NCIS hat. That was a surprise. Okay, so I guess I guess it was I guess I guess it was Trigger. I guess I don't know. Is it the Trigger sent it? Other than that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He got a hat. Uh, trigger was it you? Uh, was it was it Trigger? Trigger, did you send that NCIS hat? hat? I got a because uh, you because you knew about the coin. That kind of give you away if that's the case. I don't know. Or did somebody from NCIS send Calvin that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gotta let me know. I, th <laughs> I, th I thought it was awesome, Mom. I thought it was awesome, Mom, because it came on the same day. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. But anyway, the hat's cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, blessed creation started following. Thanks so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah, I can I can use a few extra followers every once in a. Uh, let's see. Wait, wait. I was going to let someone else take credit since it's not. Okay, okay, okay. All right, okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know. Okay, so I don't know how I got here, but uh, thank you, thank you, because that's uh, Calvin really. Calvin really likes that because you know his. Um, his uh, <laughs> uh, there was there was a private. Uh, I had a friend that was a private detective, and he used to talk to Calvin all the time. He used to call him every three weeks and talk to him about private detective stuff. You know, like what you're working on. You know, what kind of type of case and that. And he was so excited to get his phone call every every three weeks. He used to jump out of his chair when he got that phone call every three weeks, and that must have lasted out. It must have been ten years. All right. Anyway, he went, he went, he was in the Navy and, and his grandfather was in the Navy. So getting it from N, uh, NCIS, uh, that was, that was good for him. That, that was good. Good, good. It worked out good. All right. All right. All right. So he'll be, <laughs> that'll be another, uh, that'll be another hat that he'll be wearing. Cause he said, Calvin always says that he's in law enforcement. He always told me, Rand, he, he always told me, Hey dad, you're in the food business, but I'm in the law law business he's in the law business he always tells me that so uh but the thing is once he got started with amazon live he kind of forgot about the law a little bit yeah about the law stuff so he's having fun he's having fun he'll be here he'll be uh well he'll be i don't know he'll be here the next couple days or so <laughs> Yeah, I thought you did. Yeah, yeah. And the uh and the food stuff uh a guy shirt too. That's that's uh I appreciate that too. Um yeah, so that <laughs> as you can tell, it just happened on the same day. That's why I was so confused. I was so confused. All right. Uh yeah, so at least at least I at least with the food guy, I could actually I could actually uh, the food guys up on the top, up on the top so I could actually do a live where you can see the food guy live and that would be on my shirt the whole time so that that uh that'll work uh that'll work or either that or cow you know cow will wear it one or the two one or the two but one or the two of us will be it will be wearing it and then we got the food guy dot live i think that's catching on i think i think it's getting to the point where maybe you don't know some people may not know my name is randall but they know the food guy <laughs> the food guy but they don't know who the name is or they don't know if it's randall or calvin or now a lot of people don't know who we are like if we're related or if it's a friend of mine that's on like calvin's a friend of mine or something that's on my sh you know a lot of people are confused but they're they're picking up on the food guy dot live well the thing is the thing that's good about food guy dot, dot live is that it goes straight to amazon straight to amazon so amazon gets it right away all right i'm back with hmm. I'm back with the Sun Joe lawnmower. I think I might have to buy a lawnmower. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm think I'm thinking very. Can it possibly be? All right, we'll we'll see you later. We'll see you later, James. Thanks so much for uh, stopping in. Uh, yeah, I might might be picking. I might be picking up a um, uh, 
one of the big, I don't know, one of the big lawnmowers. Yeah, possibility. Yeah, I got some. Uh, uh, I got I got some property. I can't. I, I don't have no place to put the extension cord. Let's put it that way. Hey, when you got when you have when you have property that doesn't have any electricity, you can't plug it in anywhere. You need something that has the battery. So I might have to go to that. So I'll see what happens. Oh, ABC, the thing I, the thing I can tell you, uh, the thing I can tell you as far as the, the ice cream, I've, uh, I've known a lot of people to make ice cream. Okay. Uh, but I'm kind of a guy that, that, uh, that, that, uh, buys particular ice cream that's already made. When I, when I say I've been in the business, when I've been in the food industry for 45 years, the majority of that time was uh, representing companies that made the food for me so they made it already so the, the product was already made so i didn't really get into making the making stuff and that's why i tell a lot of people that i basically was a professional food heater upper because i was always i was always cook, i was always heating up the food that i was already made okay if you're if you're selling fish sticks, I don't need to know how to make the fit. You know, I don't have to fit, make the fish sticks from scratch, right? Because the, they're made for me already. And the same same thing with meatballs. I don't have to make homemade meatballs because it's made for me. The pasta, it's made for me. Everything was always made for me, so I never had to make things from scratch. But the deal is, I, I don't have any. I, I don't have any particular recommendations on an ice cream maker. I do. I do not. Uh, if I did, I'd let you know. But I. And unfortunately, I don't. I'm just telling you like it is. I don't. Uh, the, clo the closest thing to me making ice cream is going to be uh, putting that, <clears throat> putting a half gallon of vanilla ice cream in the Vitamix and mixing it with all kinds of chocolate and, and uh, pistachios and almonds and pecans and peanuts and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna be mixing it all. Yeah, I wish, I wish, I, I wish I knew of one. I'd let you know. Let you know. Self-propelled cordless lawnmower, 60 volts are awesome. Yeah, you got to spend some money for the good the, for the good electric lawnmower. So I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Uh, but anyway, I got this Sun Joe. This was kind of like a starter a starter uh, deal for me. Uh, but by the way, it's really, really good for little jobs that, where you're trying to uh, cut grass underneath a bush or something like that. It's so much easier to push that around in a big unit. A big uh, gasoline self-propelled, a big gasoline self-propelled uh, lawnmower is hard to go forward and backwards and forward and backwards and wrap it around the tree and all that kind of stuff. I, I tell I tell people all the time I don't like all the, the trees being, all the trees being, <laughs> I don't like trees being planted in my yard. I just like the yard, just the grass and the sidewalk, the grass and the driveway. That's it. I don't want no trees. But some people in my family keep on uh, putting trees up all over the place. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what what we got here, uh, Brandon. Can you do the stream sitting on an inflatable swim vest for the entire stream while explaining your products? Uh, no, Brandon. I I don't think so. I don't think uh, that'll. I don't think I'll be able to do that. But thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. But uh, no, I don't. I don't think I'll be doing that. I kind of. I this is kind of how I do it. Okay, ABC says I, I have the Quizenart Ice 21P1 1.5, but you said that it's not. It's not working out like you that you would like, like it to. I think that's what you said. Uh Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I remember. I go back to the days when people used to uh, <clears throat> when people used to make the ice cream and hand crank it, and that was a lot of work in Southern Louisiana trying to make ice cream with a hand crank. Uh, a lot of work. You'd be sweating. Can you follow the request? Uh, no, I, I cannot, Brandon. Sorry about that. They got some. They probably got some other live streamers that that you know that that possibly can do something like that, but. I, I I can't do that for you. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Um yeah, because you don't you don't want your um you don't want your ice cream to come out icy. 
Uh, I, I think you I think you can remember probably growing up where you uh, where you had uh, ice cream that that let's say was uh, half um, let's say you had a half gallon and you took and you took half of it out. You've had you remember the days where you'd go back in the ref, in the freezer, take the ice cream out, and you had the ice crystals in the ice cream. You you could remember that. So I guess the same same thing can possibly happen when you're making making it. Um, I'm just uh, I just wish I could answer that question for you, but uh, that's not my. Uh... Okay, well maybe Trigger <laughs> maybe Trigger can. Uh, yeah, maybe Trigger can. Any luck with the ice cream making? Hey, we got Wendy that came in. Yeah, how's it going, Wendy? Jeremy, KT, KTT started following. Thanks so much, Jeremy. Thanks for following. Uh, yeah, when, let's see. When you say it's icy, you mean while making it? No, wants to finish product after the 20 years. Okay, you see? See, sometimes. One thing that's good about my stream is that we got people that actually uh, that actually like food uh, enough to where they know uh, the answers to some of the questions that some of the people ask. Yeah, Trigger might might have it. Might have it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Trigger might be a, a professional ice cream maker. Maybe. 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 Yeah. I uh, want the one of the guys that. Uh, one of the guys I met on LinkedIn. I have seventy-seven thousand followers on LinkedIn, and one one of the guys, one of the guys that follows me on uh, LinkedIn is the is the guy that's in charge of the ice cream making business at Clemson University. Yeah, he used to work with one of the dairy companies, and he retired from the dairy industry, and then he ends up working at the university teaching teaching uh, students at the University of Clemson how to make some ice cream. So if you if you attended Clemson or you live in the Clemson area, you might you might know about the ice cream that they make. They make. Oh, <laughs> oh Trayer's gonna fix it with a little rum. That's all. A little rum will fix the problem. That would be a great idea. I would be fine with that. Or try that. Okay, we might have the problem. The problem may be solved. It may be solved with a little bit of rum. Uh, all right, James. You take care. Get some sleep. Get some sleep. Yeah, yeah. Sleep. You always want. You, you always need your sleep. You always need your sleep. No doubt about that. Oh no, 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 no. The Sun Joe. It was 129 for a long time. Hey Donna B, how's it going? Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for stopping in. Hey, by the way, it's National Mango Day today. What's your favorite fruit, Donna B? What's your favorite? I'm not a. I'm not a. Yeah, I don't, I'm not into. Um. A bunch of different fruits unless they've been unless they've been uh unless enough sugar has been added to the product to alter it to where it tastes good i'm not too much into it abc love mango Hi oh has a mango tree yeah uh oh donna b says pineapple by the way y'all saw that amazon's got some um well, they have one from G salt that that uh in fact i have wait I, I have it here since we're talking pineapples Look, there's a bunch of tools on Amazon that you could do, that you could uh, trim up fruit, uh, do all, you know, peel it, um, process it, whatever, um, and you get it on Amazon. And uh, one of the things that that I didn't know about uh, was this uh, G salt uh, pineapple slicer. Yeah, I didn't know about it, and I thought that you know. For ten dollars and fifty nine cents, you could really impress all your friends. If I could, if I could find it, let's see if I could find it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking for it. Where is it? Where is it at? Where is that? I'm looking for the G salt. G salt. All right, here it is. Here it is. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna try to go ahead and slice this pineapple. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, but I'm gonna try. Hopefully, I do it. Let's see. This is a. This is from G salt products. G salt products. And this, oh man, I think it's working out pretty good. This is from G Salt. G Salt. Oh, doing the work, doing the work, doing the work, doing the work. See, I don't know if I'm, am I, I don't know if I made it to the bottom yet or not. I think maybe I did. Did I? I don't know. I think so. Yep, that's it. And then you 
then you go ahead and pull it out and then you got you got the pineapples that does it it worked how about that how about that it worked yeah I was talking uh, uh, I was talking to, to the girls at, what is it, Bullseye on the Bargain? Yeah, Bullseye on the Bargain. I was talking about uh, slicing up slicing up the pineapple. And uh, this was a few weeks ago. And uh, they were talking about, yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. In fact, they did it. They they sliced up, sliced up the, uh, the pineapple on their uh, live stream. You see how things get contagious? Yeah. One person talks about a particular deal. And then other people... You know, do the same thing. So the more people that know that you could slice a pineapple, hey, more more people would buy fresh pineapple if they knew how cool that tool is. And it's from G Salt. And I didn't see what I didn't see what the price was today. I don't. I guess I could. I guess I could find out. Uh, but it was ten dollars and fifty nine cents, and it went up to like fifteen ninety nine. So anywhere from ten to Ten to sixteen dollars. You can impress your friends with the pineapple slicer. Uh, Jeremy says dragon fruit. Yeah, dragon fruit. Uh, Ricky says Granny Smith apples. Yeah. By the way, I was I was a produce manager at age eighteen. I was eighteen years old and I was a produce manager. So I so I got to I got to know a little bit more than the average person about all these different by the oranges, apples, watermelons. Cherries, grapes, all this nectarines, all this stuff. Yeah, at an early age, at an early age, at 18, 18 years. So, you know, if you want to have fresh fruit all year long, you have to be willing to change countries sometimes. So some things come from the U.S. at certain times, and some things come from another part of the world. And as long as you're willing to buy product from different, different countries around the world, then you could have fresh fruit more often. <laughs> fresh fruit. All right. I was just ready to get into the Sun Joe. Anyway, the Sun Joe went up from 129 to 143, but I think I could find it. Yeah, I was I got sidetracked with the pineapple. Let me see. I could get back to it. Let's see where it's at. Going back, going back, going back. Yeah, that was what I was working on on Amazon Prime Day. Yeah, here's the uh, here's the lawnmower. Lawnmower is right here. Here it is. Hey, I'm Randall Constant, and I'm trying out the, the Sun Joe MJ401E, all right? And all you got to do is, well, plug it in. Go ahead and press this button down, pull this back, let it rev up. It's all ready to cut the grass. Yep. So anyway, now it's 143, okay? But it's a 14-inch lawnmower, and it does the trick. You plug it in, it's ready to roll. How many times have you tried to start that gasoline lawnmower, and you couldn't get it started? Yeah, it happens. It happens. Need no more. Yeah. Need no more grass. LOL. Yeah, I'm trying not to. Yeah. Anyway, grass is off till, till September, October. Yeah, it's all the way down the line. That was my kitchen is 1,500 square feet. I'm not sure. I thought I'd try taking up cooking as a hobby and just started buying tons of appliances. I guess you did. If you got a kitchen that's 1,500 square feet, you could open a restaurant with that. Okay, ready for my brand. I'm heading to ready. Okay, ready for my brand. I'm heading to bed. All right, awesome. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, let me see. It's right, should be right here. Let's see. Let's see what I got. Yeah, tell me what your brand is. Tell me what your brand is. You got it. You got it. You, you're ready to go then. Hey, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, we, I got to go ahead and get, I got awesome mom in the, in the pay pile. Okay, gotcha. You're ready to go. Ready to go. All right. I'm jumping on over to the, um, to the, to the Sun Joe Aardvark. The Aardvark, the Aardvark does a good job of getting rid of that grass around the trees to where if you want to go ahead and uh, dig into that dirt, it makes it much easier. Takes out the grass first, and then it, then it goes ahead and dig up the dirt down, down the road. 
Here we go. Here we go. The Sunjo, the Sunjo Ard Bar. The Ard Bar. Where's the Ard Bar? Looking for the Ard Bar. Looking for the Ard Bar. Here we go. Hey, I'm Randall Cotton. I'm getting ready to go ahead and try to clean up a little grass around this great myrtle uh, with this Sun Joe tiller. So let me go ahead and see. Let me see how it works here. Just to get all this grass out the way. Let's see. Let's see. Once you get through the grass and it just starts digging into the dirt, you get through the dirt. But anyway, it was $65. It was $65 for for Prime Day, so it did drop. But un unfortunately, it, it couldn't hang at that $65, so it's back at $80. So you got a range of $65 to $80 so far. Uh, but but the thing that encourages me is that hey, if you spend a couple, if you spend a couple um, hundred dollars, you can even get a better one. Uh, that's going to dig into some more stuff. I hear Calvin yelling downstairs. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to take a two-minute break and go check on Calvin. Um, let me go run down. He's yelling for some reason. I don't know what. I don't know what's going on. But I got to go. Oh, he's not letting up. He's not letting. He's not letting up. All right, hold on, hold on. Hold on, Calvin. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to jump two minutes. Let me go check on Calvin. I'll be right back. I'm going. Yeah, Calvin is uh, downstairs. Hey, look, this is what I want to go ahead and do. Uh, Richard, if you could go ahead and send me the list. If you can send me the list, I'm going to go print it downstairs. And then I'll get Calvin situated. He's looking for uh, he's looking for something to drink, and he's looking to change his channels and uh, whatever. So I, I need to get him situated. And then I'll be back. I'll be back. And it won't, it won't be long, but... Uh, if you can send me those names, I'll come, I'll be right back shortly after I take care of Calvin. I tried to do it in two minutes, but I ain't not going to be able to do it. Not, even, not going to be able to do it. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There's the list. There's the list. All right. Okay, Richard. Okay. All right. So I'm going to jump off here. I'm going to jump off here, and I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be back shortly after I take care of Calvin's uh, needs. 
get them taken care of, and then I'll be back, and then uh, I'll pull some I'll pull some names out the hat when I come when I come right back. All right, got enough names to put in the hat, that's for sure. I got 40, 47 at this time <laughs> at this time of night. All right, okay, so I'll see you, and I'll see you, uh, I'll see you shortly. I'm gonna jump off here, and I'll be right back. Thanks so much, Richard, for uh, putting that together for me. Appreciate it. All right, I'm out. I'm going, looking for the door, and I'll be right back. Oh, Calvin's still yelling. <laughs> All right, let me go get what he let me go get what he needs there. All right, I'm out. Okay.